Advantages of PLCs In comparison to traditional control methods are Greater flexibility Faster response time Improved accuracy Better scalability More energy efficient PLCs are also used to control industrial operations in hazardous areas and provide a safe and reliable platform. Hazardous area is one where for the safety of the workers, special precautions are taken. Due in today's video, we will discuss instrumentation interview questions and answers that are asked to instrument technicians and engineers. Let's take today's first question. What is the full form of SMPS? Why is it used in PLC or DCS? SMPS full form is S means switched. M means mode. P means power. S stands for supply. SMPS is used to convert unregulated AC supply to regulated DC supply. It is given 220 volts AC supply and SMPS converts it into 24 volts DC supply. Means, its input is 230 volts AC and its output is 24 volts DC. Here you can also be asked this question that can SMPS convert AC to DC? So, the answer is yes, SMPS can convert. After this you can be asked this question that You have converted AC to DC from SMPS, but what is the use of that DC? Or, you can ask it like this Why DC supply is required in PLC DCS panel? Its answer is, DC supply is given to modules, and DC supply is given to transmitters, from DC supply only transmitters, such as pressure transmitters, level transmitters, DP type transmitters, temperature transmitters, all are on. From here, one more thing becomes clear that transmitters are given 24 volts DC supply. Next question can be asked from you. In PLC DCS panel, what is the function of modules? What are types of modules? Modules provide interfacing between field signals and PLC. Means, field signals are not connected directly to PLC, but are connected through modules, so the signal flow will be something like this. PLC, I.O. modules, field signals. I.O. modules means input-output modules. For input signals, input modules, and for output signals, output modules. Combined these are called I.O. modules. Modules are also called cards. If we understand their types, modules are according to signals. For analog signals, analog modules. For digital signals, digital modules. These are further categorized according to the input and output signals. Analog input module for analog input signals and analog output module for analog output signals. Similarly, there will be two types of digital modules for digital input signals, digital input modules, and for digital output signals, digital output modules. Question is which instrument is used in the calibration of pressure transmitters and pressure gauges? Its answer is, for the calibration of pressure transmitters, and, pressure gauge dead weight tester is used. In addition to this, pressure comparator is also used. Friends, do you know, what is PLC, and, how is it controlled? Programmable logic controllers or, PLCs, are computer-based controllers. PLC is used in various industrial automation applications. PLC is programmed using specialized programming language and software. And inputs and outputs of different machines and processes are controlled. PLCs are used to control all types of systems, whether it is a simple control system. 
or a complex distributed control system plcs are used in such systems where automation of multiple processes happens at different places for example material handling manufacturing process control let me explain you it in simple language plcs are used in almost all industries like power plant sugar mill chemicals and pharmaceutical paper industry food processing and many more advantages of plcs in comparison to traditional control methods are greater flexibility faster response time improved accuracy better scalability more energy efficient plcs are also used to control industrial operations in hazardous areas and provide a safe and reliable platform hazardous area is one where for the safety of the workers special precautions are taken due to all these features plc has become an attractive choice for industrial automation before plcs relay based control systems were used replacing them now plc is used because plc systems are more reliable flexible and efficient in plcs one is central processing unit means cpu various input output which are called ios there are modules and associated software this programming flexibility make plcs useful in a wide range of applications plcs can be used to control simple machine functions to complex control systems apart from this plcs are also capable of self diagnosis and through communication protocols such as ethernet profibus optical fiber and modbus can also connect other devices like scada vfd other plc i think this must have become clear to you in your let's see the next question what is i to p converter why use it with control valve the function of i to p converter is to convert the current signal coming from plc or pid controller which is 4 to 20 milliamps into pneumatic signal that's why it is also called current to pressure converter from the i to p converter the pneumatic signal is given to the control valve to make the control valve operate according to 4 to 20 milliamps i to p converter is used let's take the next question what is p and id in instrumentation this is a detailed diagram showing where and how various pipes tanks valves pumps and instrumentation are connected in the process in any industry how and where various instruments like pressure gauge pressure transmitters or control valves are connected this is shown by a diagram and it is known as p and id or piping and instrumentation diagram friends it has two parts first piping and second instrumentation and only two types of symbols are used in this first piping symbols and other instrumentation symbols to represent each instrument symbols and circles are used p and id also shows how these instruments are connected to each other in p and id tag numbers are written tag numbers are a combination of letters and numbers it indicates the type and function of the instrument in this the first letter shows the measured variable on the first letter if p is written it means pressure t stands for temperature l stands for level and f stands for flow the rest of the letters tell the functions of the components let's take a small example here trc stands for t means temperature 
R means recorder, and C means controller, which records or measures the temperature and also controls. If TT is written, first letter stands for temperature, and second letter stands for transmitter. Similarly, FCV is written. First letter, F means flow, second letter, C means control, and third letter, V means valve, means flow control valve. By looking at P and ID, you will also come to know instruments are connected at which location. Like if there is no line in between the circle, it means instrument is mounted in the field. If there is solid line in between the circle, it means the instrument is mounted in the control room.